Okay, I'm pretty sure you would have seen one of these before. Right? You might have seen even one of these before. Right? And if you're old, you've probably seen one of these. Right? But before any of those was this. Welcome, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. Before we get started, a good buddy of mine sent me a little package. He paid $11.75 for priority mail to get to me very, very rapidly. And what did he send? A little envelope. And inside was some cardboard. And attached to that cardboard were some resistors. Working on a little project with a friend of mine. He's um, out in Orofino, Idaho. Snook's dad. Thank you for sending me this. I'll get right on it, okay? I have one word for you, though. Well, two words. Media rate. Okay, I know you wanted to get here quickly. And all of that. Uh, but this probably would have been about... $3.65. To get here if you had just done media rate. Next time, that's what you do, okay? That's a public service announcement from the shooting guy. So this has been around for a very long time. Some of you may know what this is. Some of you may even have one. Put a comment below if you do have one of these. But when somebody said, and you were out fishing, hey, can I borrow your knife? Back in my dad's day, he would have, sure, here you go. And it was uh, kind of like the world's first, well, maybe not the world's first. Yeah, well, you know, most popular at the time. Um, Multi-tool, right? And uh, I'm going to suspect, now, I don't have a whole lot of history on this, except I'm a pretty old guy, and my dad got this, oh, 10 years before I was born. I was born a long time ago. Uh, I'm going to say he probably bought this in the early 50s, 1950, 1951. Ten years before I was born. You do the math. It's a uh, ABC Solingen from Germany. It says made in Germany. It's very nice. Got a little fish, tells you it's for fishing. I've done a little bit of research, and I'm telling you, um, this has got to precede a bunch of them that I've seen on the market. The, the ones that I've seen all have a kind of a maker's mark, I think, on th this side. I think it's over here. This does not have that. No maker's mark on here at all. But I'm pretty sure it's authentic because my dad wouldn't have lied to me. Um, he bought this. Uh, my dad was an avid fisherman. He bought this uh, not long after coming to the mainland. My dad's originally from Hawaii. Um, came over here shortly after the Second World War. And um, he loved to fish. He told me a whole bunch of stories. I might tell you a story, one or two stories, one of these days, about using dynamite to catch fish. But he worked at a sporting goods store that was near where he moved to when he got here to the mainland. And um, he worked real hard, got a discount, bought himself one of these, because he didn't have one, and he thought they were the coolest. And I got to tell you, they are the coolest. I've used it since my dad's passing quite a bit I inherited it from him um and this will be something that will be passed on to my son as a matter of fact my son has already used it let me show you a clip very handy little tool um we'll talk a little bit of history about this in just a minute but I want to get to the specs overall length about seven and three quarter inches weighs in at seven and a half ounces. It comes with its own pair of pliers. 
Has its own little flat blade screwdriver right there. Convenient lanyard hole. There's a scaler on there so you can scale your fish or open it out of a can. This tip here also helps pry out the hook. Flip it over. It's got a pocket knife on this side. It even came with another bottle opener, but it also doubled as a can opener. This spot right in here was so that you could cut your fishing line. See that little notch right there? That's so you can put a piece of wire in and cut it. So this funky little area right here is, well, it's to reopen up some split shot. That's a pretty good job. Since it's made in Germany, I bet you this is Krupp's steel, although it's very, very hard. But it is a stainless steel because it's uh, almost 70 years old and there's no rust. And of course, it comes with this nifty leather sheath. It fits handily dandily on your belt. Oakley doakley. Actually, I feel so well equipped now. By the way, how many of you know what this is? Okay, first things first, you'll probably agree there are a lot of crazy things going on in this world today. This may be the time for you to get a bullet safe, bulletproof vest. I've got one, my wife's got one, my kids got one, you may want to get yourself one. Bullet safe even has panels that you can get that go inside of a backpack. Just slide them inside and it might just save your life or your kid's life. Go to my website, I'll put a link down below. You can see where you can get yourself a bullet safe, bulletproof vest. Do it today before it's too late. Okay, let's move on to the rest of the video. Well, there are just a few of the multi-tools that I've got available. And I, and I forgot to throw this one out on the table. This is probably the quintessential, 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 quintessential multi-tool, the Swiss Vitronox. And uh, you can't go wrong. Problem is no pliers. These were, I believe, the first guys. This is 70 years old, folks. And it has pliers. And it has a can opener, bottle opener. It's designed for fishermen, you know. So if, if you're into fishing and you don't have one of these, and even if you're not into fishing and you don't have one of these, I'm going to put a link and a QR code and all that stuff so you can go find yourself one. There are guys selling theirs. This one's not for sale. This one's staying in the family. Um, but you can go, you know, take a link, go take a look. And if they're auctioning them off, I, my recommendation is don't spend any more uh, than $30, maybe $35 if it's in really good shape. Let me, let me point a couple of things out. If you see one with the stone missing, um, either don't buy it or make sure you get a good deal on it. It may only be worth about 10 bucks, frankly. Um, look at its condition. Now this one has got a few scratches, you know, it's, it's been used, it's obvious. And you know, if this is the blade side, is the blade side? Yeah, the blade has a a little bit of patina on it. Not bad, you know. Clean that off. It's probably fish guts. A <laughs> um, little bit of patina, a little bit of rust back in here. But uh, I would say this one, uh, because of the shape of the, you know, the the sheath is just absolutely gorgeous. It's in great shape. It doesn't have a brad down here where a lot of the a lot of the ones you might see may have a brad. That means it's newer than this. It's not as old. But if you can find one that's about 70, 70 years old and in this condition, I might give 35 bucks for it if I'm collecting it and I don't have one. But don't spend any more than 25. And especially if it's missing something, it's probably not worth much. You know, give them 10 bucks for it. See what they say. If you've got rust or if you've got really bad wear, uh, just be careful, you know. I've seen them out there for, you know, starting at $95 on eBay. Well, if they were the only one, maybe, but you'll find them. I'll put a link. Um, and I've had this, this original Leatherman. I've probably had this for, if we're talking about pliers, this was probably the first one to come out with pocket knives and screwdrivers and whatnot with pliers and it folded up into a little, 
thing that, you know, fits in your pocket or, you know, in a pouch like this. I've had this since about 1984. Very long time. Love it. Then I graduated to this one, of course, you know. This is more of an EDC for me. This uh, this vintage one I don't use um, daily. I, I may bring it out once in a while, but um, this is my EDC now. It's a little heavy. Got a lot of tools. A little more comfortable in the hand than the original. I like it. Uh, let's see, the Gerber, yeah. I, I don't use the Gerber a lot. This is one that I just kind of keep in my truck. The cool thing about it is this. You give it a little flick and the pliers come right out and you don't have to bend it and articulate it all kind of goofy and then you just squeeze on the things and... Let's see, can I get that back in? Oh yeah, there you go. And it fits in there. Uh, weight, This the Leatherman is heavier than this Gerber. But I think the Leatherman's a little more uh, durable, hmm, hard to say. This one just stays in my truck. It's okay. It's a tool that I would use. This, frankly, I don't even put it in my pocket anymore. That's why it's in such great shape. I've had this since the 80s as well. Okay, that's kind of my, my story on some of my multi-tools, and especially the original multi-tool from Germany, ABC Solingen, or Solingen, with a beautiful sunfish on it. Yeah, that's all. All right, you guys, I've got other videos. I'm gonna put a link where all those videos are. I'll put a link to, you can get you one of these things. Don't forget to subscribe and do all that stuff. Share the video. Maybe you've got some buddies out there that are into fishing. Um, share it so that they can go find themselves one, all right? I'll see you on my other videos.